so hello everyone welcome back to my channel so guys in this video i will tell you how you can insert data inside your mongodb table so it is the continued video of my previous mongodb in which i told you how you can create tables in your mongodb database so this is the whole code which i have written already in my previous video so it is the continued version of my node.js playlist you can also watch my previous videos for better understanding so for this purpose you also need postman and mongodb so first of all i will open mongodb and connect it first here we i can show you where i created the database so this was the database which i have created you can see it is empty there is no data inside it now for i will open postman Postman is basically used for testing and developing APIs. So now, first of all, I will tell you uh, what you have to do. Inside this, I have created a teacher controller and it is the add teacher method which I have already created in my previous video. So this was an API to insert data. So I will tell you how this thing works. So first of all, you just need to do uh, open your Postman. So first of all let us start our project npm start so as you can see server is running at 3002 now open postman here you need to change the server so let's go to app.js you can see the port number is 3002 so i will change it to 3002 now inside this you can see app.use here we have written admin so i am also written admin here now we have to see the method now go to method and we can see router.spose as teach at teacher now i have to change it at teacher at teacher now i have to see what type of keys i have written inside my code so inside this i can you can see we have to go to teacher model inside this name email and age rest will be default values now i will type name email let's make it zipg at the gmail.com and age let me remove password and let's change the age to 24 so that's it now we just need to send the data so before that we choose the method as post as you can see i have written in routes routes here choose the post so i have to choose the post method here now simply click on send uh, currently we have encountered an error so let me check okay so yes so you need to add a line basically this error comes when we have not written or given permissions to our app.js so inside our app.js we just need to add a line inside our app.js name Jabjit. yes now go to app.js inside this you need to type app.use dot use in bracket type express now in again bracket url extended inside this extended colon true you can also find this on the google or anywhere you want just type url uh, encoded extended true and you will find this line now i have sent the data you can see teacher edit successfully teacher edit successfully and here is the data which i have written now go to mongosdb and refresh you can see the data is inserted successfully now what i will do i will again type another name for more clarity and you read one send you can see there data is coming here another data is there now for this you can also see uh, even after typing same email there will be an error like uh, two same emails cannot be inside our database so we will make a logic so teacher schema dot find one we will basically find an email if it exists in our teacher table or not find one email colon request dot body dot email to see if the uh, the email we have written in our postman is already exist or not if it exists then we will uh, type a then condition instead then if we will get a data 
we will type an if condition here if data will not be null or we can say if data is not empty we will just type a response json uh, let's copy it from below copy and paste it here and we will type the status to 400 and success should be false and in the message we will type teacher already exist so we will type teacher already exist and inside uh, now we will uh, we will make a else condition so if else in the else if data is double equals to null or you can say data is null or there is no teacher exist so currently you can see we have encoded an error because of the wrong syntax so whenever i upload you can see there are two same emails which is not a good practice so we will now type uh, else command here now else and we will copy the whole code inside the else command copy it and now just paste it inside the else so that's it now just save it and run the command so whenever i send data you can see teacher already exists so it is showing data which is stored let us remove the data from the code so to no show not will, will not show any data so now when i click send you can see it just shows an error teacher already exists now whenever i change the email let's type anything and you can see data is sending properly now if i again try to send and it is coming inside my mongodb table now again try to send you can see it shows teacher already exists now that is the whole process how you can insert data in your mongodb table in next video i will tell you how you can delete data thanks for watching